Hello YouTube, um, it's B.GFX here coming to you with yet another tutorial bit on. So today I'm going to show you how to create your GIMP loading screen. This one for example um, I made this myself so instead of the Eva Wilbur or whatever his name is in clouds or the solar system so first what you want to do is either control O or command O if you're on a Mac and want to go to C C drive what is that yeah C drive program files you want to find GIMP we want to go into share GIMP 2. Point, oh, well you know your version should be 2.4 really but I don't know images and here we if that went too quick just go back in the video so what we're going to do is open this okay now we have the exact size and when you just click save it will save it right there which takes the hassle out of that so what I'm going to do is right click after selection on the layer and click delete that just gets rid of everything and control shift a or command shift a to deselect that page so now what we want to do is create a black background now I'm actually going to change the colors a bit um, to a green we want a green to white or any color to white make sure it's to white and then we want to go into filters render nature flame this will bring up something like this um, in my opinion is it spherical spherical is the best one there I'm just going to turn the speed down click randomize a few times until you get what you like um, this one looks good um, that will bring up more options this one oh this one okay right. I'm actually going to turn the brightness down a bit and the camera you can change uh, if you want it in the middle like side to side first make a new layer and, and now I just repeat flow and that will bring up this so now um, what you want to do is insert some text so I'm just going to zoom in a bit here so get your text I'm going to make the and I'll have the fonts uh, the link in the description for the fonts it's called writers original or you get writers can get condensed all writers bold so I'm going to use original just make that a bit bigger move that over to the corner and now you have to download script foo and layer effects again link in the description so we want to go when you've done that go to bevel and emboss make sure you clicked on your text layer when you do that and you want to bring up the size you can keep the size at five make the depth um, really you can just experiment I use nine in my other one and but I use different colors here I'm just gonna leave these colors as white to black just for the purpose of this video so I think that looks quite good and now what you want to merge down that will apply the layer mask and merge down to the just the and now we want to make we want to make GIMP so I'm actually going to make these in all different layers just tone that down in the size so we've got that there okay right so now what we want to do is make a new layer it doesn't really matter where it is as long as it's actually above the background so we want our pass tool and I'm going to zoom in 
actually more than that, zoom into the P click on, oh yeah right there pass tool, click on the size of the P and give it a nice kind of, oh a nice rounded effect so it's like this do that again with this side and okay okay I'm back and all I've joined it up done this hit enter which selects it right now what we want to do is get the paint bucket tool make sure you have the same color as your text on the new layer click um, fill whole selection and then click here so we've got this now right control or command shift a deselect and now go back onto dialogues paths so we can't see that anymore so that looks pretty good um, now I'm just going to merge that down and zoom out to here right I'm now going to move it oh oh right yeah first of all just uncheck the new layer and background click on any one of these apart from the new layer and background and click merge visible and then merge that merges them all into one now check these back and oh, wrong bit now you can move this anywhere you want so again script foo layer effects bevel and emboss this will all stay the same from the last time that you did it so just click ok if you want it the same so now i've got this and this is pretty good uh... so just merge these two down i'm going to change it doesn't really matter but i like to do that right now for I'm actually going to add a bit right 2.6 in ok and we're going to change the font again this font will be in the description it's called I can find it VTK's Distress or VTKS Distress now just move that I'd say that's about a good size just going to put that here script foo, layer effects, bevel and emboss again ok that will do that to this one this time control z, to, I need to merge them down ok right so we've got this in one now what I want to do is file open as layers this will take us straight into the bit if it doesn't you know the steps to get into there I'm going to use this logo right okay so that's in there all simple I'm just gonna leave that like that now I'm gonna click merge visible okay actually control Z to undo that now uncheck the background and merge visible and then check the background again and now script foo layer effects this time in a glow I, I'm i gonna have it red again okay now the size looks good at around 30 but again you can play around with it as much as you want and oh make sure you clicked on the background right so I think I know why so in a glow again merge with layer make sure that's ticked and okay this might take a bit longer right okay now there you get your effect so I'm just going to move this, this a bit so that oh actually that's fine where it was okay right now just click file save merge visible never flatten image that's just always bad now we can close GIMP um, and only oh there we go ok there you go there it is thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe 
this is B.GFX.